Hi, my name is Philip Lanos, and I've partnered with the Strategic Advisor Board to bring you a series of videos that's going to help you get your personal brand where you want it to be. I'm the founder and owner of a company by the name of Own the Rhythm, which focuses on personal branding and content strategy. It's important that you watch these videos in order. Unless I tell you otherwise, they build on themselves. So today we're going to talk about the third thing, and this is targeting phase. If you haven't already seen the design phase and the explore phase videos, you're going to be missing a lot of work that you need to do here. So please, whatever you do, go on ahead and review the other videos. So the targeting phase, the targeting phase, once you've had your core message and you've got your team and assets in place for being able to communicate and your team can log in and start publishing things for you. This is where you can work together with someone on your team, preferably some kind of executive assistant, something that can speak to the creative team but they'll be taking all the notes down for you. You need to start understanding how to get a hold of the people that you want to get in touch with. Because now you understand who you are, what you stand for, and why people should believe you. And you have all the creative assets to start communicating that. Now, where do you place them? Well, this is where you start doing hashtag research. No, hashtags don't help you gain more following or you know more visibility. They just help you understand what people who are interested in certain hashtags are already liking. That's the whole trick behind hashtagging. It's a way to categorize, no different than SEO. Right? You get to see how many people have used that hashtag, whether it's because they want to stand for it or because they like it. It'll show you top and recent on most social platforms. So take a look at that, right? What are the larger hashtags you can use? Some of the ones that have way more engagement. And then what are some smaller hashtags that you yourself can start using to put yourself in that category and you be the one that made that hashtag popular. You know, you could even do a branded hashtag, kind of the same work as a keyword when run, if any of you have ever run any ads, there's long tail keywords, right? And then there are branding keywords, personal things that you can use to stand out. Uh, whether it could be a campaign, let's say you have a campaign for red hats, you know, red hats matter or something, you know, whoa, totally charged, but you know what I mean? It's a real campaign and it's personalized, right? So that's the hashtag research. Now we're going to talk about potential partnerships. Are there any major influencers in your industry, your vertical that are in tune and in touch with the people that you want to be in touch with? Can you think of any ways you can partner with them? Paid or organic? Do you know someone who knows them? Is there a campaign you can work on together? Or do you have a budget to be able to get in front of those people? And then there are micro influencers, smaller influencers who may not be the most important people in the space, but important nonetheless, because they've done the work. And if you can target the right ones and communicate properly, it should be a no brainer for them to work with you because it only enhances things. And it's all about win, win, win. In fact, Jason Miller of the strategic advisor board talks about this. Can you do a three way win between major influencers, smaller influencers yourself? A four-way win would be then being able to offer a positive solution, a real solution to the customer, to the target audience, right? Now, professionals you generally admire, they may not be in your vertical, but they are people that you admire. Is there a way that you can pull in the work that they do, the things that they talk about? For example, I could say, I admire the way Gary Vee has a no-nonsense approach. And I bring that into what I'm doing with targeting and I want to go reach out to people because I feel they may appreciate the kind of work that I do. See the way that works? And then of course, figures who have a similar brand. It's important for you to get a lay of the land and understand what they're doing so you don't reinvent the wheel. But also because you can see what they're doing and if there are any mistakes, you can avoid them. I know this sounds crazy, but just look at some of the feedback that people might be giving them based on the posts that they've made. It's important that you look at what's already been done because believe it or not, as unique as you are, it's not very unique what you're doing yet, right? And until you get there, you'll never become this key person of influence until you understand what the space really looks like, the entire ecosystem. This is fundamental to your success in targeting. So please understand if you've got your core message, right? And you've got all your assets and now you have the targeting down, you understand who is really in the game now and where the game is actually being played now you stand a real shot at developing and solidifying your personal brand in the digital space.
hey, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate that. There should be a place below where you can leave a comment. Feel free to comment whatever you want on whether or not I left something out or you have more questions about something. That being said, there should also be links in the description that should put you in touch with either the strategic advisor board with what they're doing or with myself. If there isn't a link for me for whatever reason, go to philiplanos.com. That's philip with two L's, P-H-I-L-L-I-P, L-A-N-O-S dot com. And there should be some way to get a hold of me through the contact form. I also have my social media links on there. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you.